Welcome to our final episode of Snow Dance at Home. Thanks for joining us. If you missed any of the past musical episodes or skills workshop, be sure to check out our YouTube channel to catch up. You'll be glad you did. All of these episodes have taken place on Treaty 3 territory. The land on which we gather is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Sioux, and Métis people. In tonight's episode, you'll enjoy a musical performance by none other than Red Moon Road. Currently, two-thirds of them reside at Falcon Ridge. They're helping out with ski lessons, cabin check-ins, housekeeping, and last but not least, hot tub quality control. You'll also hear from our very own Kenzie Jane, who's been faithfully working the Ski Hill sales desk for years. Hold on to your tuning pegs because we're going to take a little visit to Brooks Fiddle class at the Falcon Beach School. We're also going to get another lesson from Ryan the Groomer. This time he's going to share some insider knowledge on the annual snow dance turkey shoot. If you've ever wanted to learn how to ski from the comfort of your home, join our ski instructors Kaylee and Daniel. They'll give you the basics on how to fall with style. And to conclude our tour of Falcon Ridge Faces, we have an intimate musical performance with Matt Foster in one of our staff accommodations. This was captured at last year's Snow Dance Festival. Thanks for visiting Falcon Ridge from wherever you may be watching. We're wishing you a happy and healthy year. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the final installment of Snow Dance at Home. Hey, I'm Kenzie Jane. Thanks for having me, Snow Dance.
Kaylee Christie. I'm the snow school director here at Falcon Ridge, and I'm here with Daniel Jordan. You may remember Daniel from such bands as Red Moon Road and Johnny Moonbeam. Well, he's out of work, so we got him skiing. When you're new to skiing, things can be pretty exciting, pretty fun, but also pretty overwhelming. If you find yourself in a sticky situation and you can't gain your control back, we want to teach you how to bail properly. And a big hockey stop. There are good ways to bail and bad ways to bail. When you need to bail, make sure you don't fall straight backwards. Otherwise, you're gonna look like this. Ah! The proper way to bail is to make sure you always fall to your side. That way your body makes good contact with the snow and slows you down to a stop. Good. Uh, uh, I gotta bail! Hey. And that's all from Kaylee and Daniel, your ski instructor dream team. Happy no dance. Ah! <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, you're doing a bad job of falling badly. Oh, no. Howdy folks, we're Red Moon Road. Thank you so much for joining us at a virtual snow dance. Uh, we're so glad we could all be together, at least like this. Many years ago when we were but a young folk band on the verge of folk stardom, we came out here to Falcon Trails to record a, an album. We took an upright bass and all of our gear on the back of a snowmobile out to a cabin way off the grid in the woods, and we recorded five songs called Tales from the White Shell. And we would like to play those five songs for you right now. This first song is called Halfway to Juniper, and it's about the road out to that high lake cabin. Two, three, four. <laughs>
Um, if you spent any time out here at Falcon or in the White Shell or in the Boreal Forest, I'm sure you've heard the following. As our very uh, own in-band ornithologist, Daniel Pelican Hoffner, will tell you, that happens to be the call of the... It was the white-throated sparrow. Indubitably. Wrong. It also goes... Can and confirm. Can right? confirm. It does, yeah, it does. Um, I was sitting under a tree out here once, being lulled by that melody on repeat, when it occurred to me, it's quite a beautiful melody, and my very next thought was, birds probably don't have legal representation. So we stole it outright. That's where the melody from this song came from. And uh, we had recorded it, hoping to include the bird on the CD, and uh, found out very promptly that the bird sings very consistently in the key of F, which is beautiful if you're a bird, but very hard to sing if, if you're, you're a Sheena. Right. So we had to change the song to C, and the problem is with the bird singing in an F and the, and the song in C, it kind of clashed. So I went on the internet and found a, a recording from a fellow who had a bird, a white-throated sparrow singing in C, and I asked him what was the deal, and he said, well, down here in New York, they just sing lower. And I asked him if we could use his recording instead because it matched the song, and he said, sure, as long as you tell that story uh, on stage every time you play it. So that's for you, Anonymous, a thorn of ornith Orthodox ornithologist. <laughs> Actually, I have two amendments to that story. Number orthodox one, ornithologist. He was an orthodox. Orthodox. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he also did a little uh, orthodonty on the side. So, yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay. Yeah. I think those are the addendums. Yes. Well, number one, you said, "Hey, what's the deal with your bird?" Which is funny to me. Number two, apparently they sing like that because it's a highly populated area, and the car most car horns are in C. It, it sounds like the uh, the bird needs a cabbie. Somebody told us that at a show, and I have to admit to having not fact-checked. That sounds like a very hard, <laughs> perhaps, fact. It's just getting your bird news on it Facebook. It was before <laughs> fact-checking was really important. So, okay. Anyway. This is called Mighty Glad You Came.
they say to me when I listen to their song. Morning there, folks. Uh, Ryan the groomer here. Just gonna give you a little tutorial on the turkey shoot here at Snow Dance. It's a tradition that we throw a bird on the lake every year, and people uh, come out to the festival and they're not quite sure. They see turkey shoot on the program and they think that we're out here shooting birds. And Youngz shows up and he's got his shotgun and his camo, and he's all fired up to shoot some birds, but really we're throwing birds on the lake uh, and it's actually just one turkey. And uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's not as simple as it sounds. So first you gotta come down to the lake here and find yourself a smooth patch of ice. There's uh, some drippy, drippier parts around here, so we're gonna have a bit of a smooth runway. And we're going to paint ourselves a little button, a little target. That looks good. This is biodegradable marking paint, believe it or not. So this is about a 25 pound bird here. This is no, uh, you know, grocery store butterball. This is a, uh, uh, a free range uh, bird raised by Kyle Weeb, our buddy over in Plum Coulee, raises these birds specifically for throwing. And um, only the finest out here at Snow Dance. So let's give it a shot here. That's a bit heavy. That's not gonna win. But it felt great, it felt real nice. So there's a lot that goes into uh, assessing the bird to see, you know, how it's going to slide the best. This has already been thrown a few times. You see that there's some of the plastic coming away, but this is uh, this has got a really nice, you know, flat side here. So that's going to be my throwing side. I got a solid handle with a metal tie. Very very good for throwing. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna plant my feet in a in a stickier spot, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna swing with my right hand, and, and I'm gonna do a few of these. It's decent, baby. That's a winter bird. So folks, one of the traditions here at uh, the turkey sh shoot at Snow Dance is that the winner takes home the bird with them. So they get to take that home and thaw it out and cook it up to eat. We've found amidst of all the skiing and the swimming and all the other fun stuff you can do out here, that sailing works pretty good too. In fact, we've started an annual regatta uh, of about six sailboats out on uh, the secret lake around here. 
And um, it's been a lot of fun. I finished second both years, and I believe Daniel has ended up in the water both years so far. Is that, is that yeah, correct? I sank two different boats uh, two different years. I was uh, on one boat the first that's year. true, and mm-hmm. maybe you'll be on the third next year. The oh. Lake of the Woods sponsorship nautical disaster might have been a little on the nose. Yeah, but when we were rescued, someone handed us nautical disaster beer. Apropos. Too soon. Right. Apropos. This is called The Sailor Song. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. I'm sorry, dear lady, I'm going away And I may not be back here for many a day If the good Lord is willing to spare me my life I swear I'll come back here and make you my wife Trade winds are blowing, sails are filled it's not even winter and my bones are chill. My sun and my summer are miles away. And he may not be back here for many a day. Now a storm has engulfed us, it's raging outside. And there's no hope for survival, and there's nowhere to hide. Oh, I've been a bad man in my life, yes, it's true. Yeah, but not even dying would keep me from you. No, not even dying would keep me from you. Oh, it's worse to be left than to sail away. Waiting for word that my love is okay. And when the news reaches and breaches my heart No, it won't be my living that keeps us apart No, it won't be my living that keeps us apart Oh, and the same wind that blows the boat over Takes the pieces back to the shore Blood on the boards, tears in the water Sailor returning no on the sea in the arms of the ocean you're waiting for me in the arms of the ocean you're waiting for me oh and the same wind that blows the boat over takes the pieces back to the shore blood on the boards tears in the water for sailor returning Many years later when this tale they tell There are some who will swear that they saw where she fell No trace of a body, just an old tattered sail That hung on the cliffs like a bride's wedding veil Yes, it hung on the cliffs like a bride's wedding veil
where there's water, there's tragedy. And this is a true story from a lake around here. I'm Brooke, and when I'm not at the ski hill, I'm teaching fiddle at Falcon Beach School. <laughs> it's a great place, and the fiddle program at Frontier School Division keeps music alive. Hi, class! Hey, everyone! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is part of Frontier School Division. This is where we put our music. Ooh. And, um, yeah, we get to play with all sorts of schools in northern Manitoba. And it's lots of fun. Shall we play them a tune? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I love playing tunes. Thumbs up, dude. All right, here we are in Fog Beach School. Playing some more bonnet reel with uh, some top notch players. Oh, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, thanks, folks. This brings us to the last song of Tales from the White Shell, our five-song e EP that we recorded out here. And uh, it works nicely with that we want to say a thank you to the people who let us come out here to make this happen. And that would be the, uh, the Christy Hamilton family, uh, who've been very good friends to this band over the years. Long and may they reign. Long may they yes. reign. And uh, this one um, name drops all of them, but especially uh, the guy you see uh, walking and driving the snowmobile, making the beautiful trails out there in the woods, uh, Mr. Craig. And uh, the way you can know he's been by is you just see a bare footprint walking by up to a job site and also in the winter. So it's not a large hob hobbit, or maybe it is, but either way, it's Craig. <laughs> and this is called Craig's Reel. <laughs> It's Craig. not a large, ho <laughs> large hobbit, <laughs> or maybe it is. Or Either maybe. way, it's Craig. Yeah, Craig, if you can hear so. this, you're welcome. <laughs> it's Craig's real, Thank even you. if he's not. Uh, two, three, four. <laughs> Craig is real. There's an old man living in the white shell You never see him come around Just a barefoot print or a fell tree cut Or a distant chainsaw sound The king of the ancient forest And a surgeon with a saw blade edge Never likes to roam from his log built home On a lovely lake front ledge And the cold wind blows in the winter time And the axe blade cuts in a perfect line And the ski trail weaves through the towering pine And the tall tales grow With the deepening snow There's an old man living in a white shell His daughters grew up free Just a bare skin on And the sun that shone Not a soul around a sea His wife is the lady of the lake shore And they live by candlelight Dinner's on the table with a roaring fire When they get home at night All right Cut, a distant chainsaw sound The king of the ancient forest A surgeon with a saw blade edge He never likes to roam from his bar built home On a lovely lake front ledge Craig is real <laughs> Craig's real He's real It was his real and he is real All right this has been an absolute blast. We are so happy to be in this space again and be around one another again. And uh, we're gonna do one more song from you that is, so we kinda like started, the, this is not off of Tales from the White Shell, that was a long time ago. Now we're gonna do something from right around this now-ish. Um, we recorded this song, at, uh, we did a live off the floor kind of show at Nonsuch Brewing Company with the wonderful B&B &B Studios and uh, synonym art consultation and we called it the non such session so if you want to check that out you should this is a song from that little EP and it is Red Moon Rose first and hopefully only breakup song <laughs> What if I told you every day I'm afraid That I'm in the wrong move and taking the steps to walk away Who knows we go about our business now Trying to shuffle around it like it isn't in the way Like it Leave it, you've been moving out, I've been moving in, the hardest part is moving on, oh. Make it, break it, every road we take leads the same way, the hardest
spider, spider's moving on. Oh, I'm in the new space, thinking of all the places we've been. I'm packing the boxes and finding reminders therein. It broke, it shows in how the pieces fell. And all the king's horses couldn't make it all again. Oh, like it, leave it. You've been moving now, I've been moving in. The hardest part is moving on. Oh, make it. Break it. Every road we take leads the same way. The hardest part is moving on. All right, folks, that's it for uh, Red Moon Road here at this year's No Dance Snow Dance Festival. We hope to see you all in person next year. So thank you so much from all of us and our COVID kitty kids. Release the hounds. Not the kitties, hounds. kids. Woo! Hounds. The hounds. Where's the kids? Come here. Wow, Hi, yours really looks like you, Daniel. This is like our rehearsals. No animals were harmed in the filming of this video. These are unionized dogs.
Coming home to something Coming home to you Some of us have got a big bill coming Some of us already paid Dreams you never dreamed of Every little dream you can't recall Coming home to something Big bill coming. Some of us already paid. We're gonna get what's coming at the end of the day. You're gonna get what you deserve. Once in a while You come around And I'm like Yeah, every once in a while You come around And I'm like Stuck on
I just wanted to give you a bit of background about what it takes to, to raise a good throwing bird. You know, it's not just going to the store and, you know, picking out a $10 butterball. You gotta, you gotta raise it right and, uh, you know, make it part of the family for it to be accurate. And um, so I'm gonna give you a bit of insight on that here with the online snow dance. See, the bird becomes more accurate if you take it for walks, and if it thinks it's part of the family. That's a nice looking bird there, kids. Heck of a bird, whoo! So I always make sure to bring the bird to work with me, and that makes the bird uh, much more accurate for throwing. And it's also good luck on the ski trails with the grooming. So very important for the bird before the turkey shoot. Bring it to work. And it all comes together with the perfect toss. Oh yeah! What a throw. What a bird. That bird pushing. 